Hello appraisers, this is Brandon again with Choice Valuation and in this Spark Spotlight video I'm going to be showing you how to customize the market trend analyses and charts in Spark. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to assume you've already loaded up to this screen, meaning you've loaded in at least a competing file into the market conditions side of Spark and I'm also going to assume you've seen the video and you understand that in Spark if you're trying to decide whether sale prices are increasing stable or declining for example all you need to do is click on the sale price row of the 1004 MC and look at your own analysis of all the data and so you can see it's going up at 0.2 percent a month and 0.5 percent a month based on those two so I'm gonna call it stable and I'm done and you can move on to the next row and do the same thing but the point here is when you click on that row and by the way the point is you can do that based on a whole bunch of data rather than just relying on the three pieces of data that you get in the 1004 MC based on three unequal periods but I digress. Okay, so now how do you customize these? Because this might be what I think, how I think you want to analyze data, because uh, it's the defaults, but it's not really how you want to analyze the data. So let's show you how to customize this. First thing is you can customize the title. So I can click here and change the title to whatever I want and click done. I can also customize whether this chart is going to actually go into my report. And also, if I want this simple regression number, which is this plus 0.2%, to be included in that chart image that's going into my report. Um, either way, it's all going into my digital work file. So everything goes into your digital work file that you see here. Um, it, but if you want it to actually go into your report, that's when you would check this box. Okay, so we're done with that section, and then we're going to move down to here. So now the next thing is, how much data do I want to analyze? You can analyze, I'm going to click here, anywhere from six months to 10 years, 120 months. So let's just say we want to customize this to five years, 60 months. And then I can choose in a scatter plot, and I can change that to by month, by quarter, by half year, by year, or leave it as in a scatter plot. For now, I'm going to leave it as a scatter plot. And then the next thing you can do is customize the actual data that you're analyzing as far as the feature. So right now I'm analyzing price per square foot, uh, medium price per square foot, I should say. Um, so I could click here and I could change this under analyze. I could change this medium price per square foot to any one of these. And by the way, it's all context sensitive. So in Spark, if I was on the days on market row, for example, rather than sale price, I would be getting information related to days on market rather than prices. Uh, so anyways, let's leave it at that. And let's hit go back. We're done with that. And let's say we also wanted to add another analysis. So we have a secondary analysis on this chart. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to choose, let's do the neighborhood. So rather than just looking at competing properties, I'll be looking at competing and my broader neighborhood as well. And then I'm going to click Analyze, and let's just analyze the same thing, price per square foot, median. And scatter plot. I can change it to bar chart, line chart, or scatter plot. I'm going to leave it as a scatter plot. Trend line. I can choose any one of these options here. For scatter plots, I like linear, so I'm going to leave it as linear. And then I can also choose to exclude data. So um, I'll just show you what that is here. I can choose to exclude REOs, short sales, or REOs and short sales which um, might be helpful if you're in a market with a, a whole bunch of foreclosures and short sales like we had, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And, and that ki you can kind of tell what your market's doing both with all the data and, ex and with short sales and foreclosures removed. Anyways, uh, okay, so when you're all set, you've got it how you want, you click go back. And now you've got both sets of analyses here. And you've got your corresponding chart. I can, you can see I can hover over any of these dots and see the actual data. And now, this is based on five years. This over here is based on two years. Let's say you don't even like these two down here. I can just click this X to get rid of it. It's going to say, are you sure? Click this one to get rid of that. Yes. Now, you know what? This is based on five years, so I can drag this little arrow handle over, and I can widen that chart if I want to. Um, so it looks like that instead. I can also, let's drag it back down. I can also drag this widget over here and have them so I can have my two-year analysis before my five-year analysis. And now let's just say I want this to be 12 months. Okay, so I've got a 12-month analysis by month, and I've got a 60-month analysis in a scatter plot. All of it's based on median price per square foot, and I feel happy with this. So once you have it set up how you want, you just click Save Layout, and you're good to go. Again, 
all you do to change the feature that you're analyzing is you click it, that card, it flips it over, and you can then change that customization. I'll have another video talking about the comments and everything, but that's how you change it. And we're good to go. And then once you're done, you click Save Layout, and you hit Go Back. And that has then customized that. So next time you go to use Spark, that will be when you click on sale price, it'll look exactly how you want it to look. So you can quickly say, okay, it's going up at 0.5% a month for the past year. It's going up at over 1% a month for five years. I'm going to place most weight on just what's going on this year. So I'm going to call it stable and boom, I'm done. So again, I made a really fast decision based on a lot of data, um, but it's not hard. It's easy and it's quick. And it's, uh, in my opinion, much more reliable than just basing it on looking at these three points in time. Uh, so yeah, anyways, and it's also customizable because you can look, you don't have to just use medium price. You can use uh, price per square foot and you can look at your neighborhood data as well. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching.